when the time domain signal is absolutely integrable then we can convert its Laplace transform to its Fourier transform by simply replacing s by j omega we know this result and in this presentation we will obtain this result and for this I will take a time domain signal ft and let's say its Fourier transform is f omega and let's say its Laplace transform is f s so ft f omega is known as Fourier transform pair and ft f s is known as Laplace transform pair in the last lecture we saw the Laplace transform f s is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity time domain signal ft multiplied to e power minus st dt and we also saw s is equal to sigma plus j omega s is a complex variable and it is equal to sigma plus j omega so here we will write sigma plus j omega so fs is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity ft multiplied to e power minus inside the bracket sigma plus j omega bracket closed t dt we are having single exponential with power minus sigma plus j omega t we can write it as two different exponentials multiplied together so in the next step we will open the bracket and we will write it as two different exponentials we will have e power minus sigma t the first exponential and the second exponential is e power minus j omega t dt now compare the right hand side with the Fourier transform and you will find we are having e power minus j omega t which is the integral kernel and we are having the input signal here we are having the input signal which is the function of time f t e power minus sigma t so we can say we can say the Laplace transform f s is equal to the Fourier transform of f t multiplied to e power minus sigma t and we can see that f s is the bilateral Laplace transform so bilateral Laplace transform is simply equal to the Fourier transform of time domain signal f t multiplied to e power minus sigma t now let's put sigma equal to 0 when sigma is equal to 0 the Laplace transform f s will be equal to the Fourier transform of f t multiplied to e power 0 e power 0 is equal to 1 so we are getting Laplace transform equal to the Fourier transform of f t and Fourier transform of f t is equal to f omega so f s is equal to f omega and when sigma is equal to 0 when sigma is equal to 0 s is equal to j omega so we are getting f s equal to f omega when s is equal to j omega so this is the result here you can see the same result and now we will understand why we say this result is only valid when the given time domain signal is absolutely integrable here you can see we are calculating the Fourier transform of the time domain signal ft and we know the Fourier transform do not exist for the signals which are not absolutely integrable so if we want the valid right hand side here the existent right hand side then signal ft should be absolutely integrable so when ft is absolutely integrable we can calculate its Fourier transform which will be equal to the Laplace transform when s is equal to j omega so this is all for this lecture remember this result we can convert Laplace transform to Fourier transform by replacing s by j omega but the condition is the time domain signal we are having should be absolutely integrable 
So if you have followed all the lectures of Fourier transform and the previous lecture of Laplace transform, then you can easily understand these points. So this is all. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section.